The wind turbine's base plate is the center for the tower pole. Measure the distance from the base plate to the four anchor positions and screw the anchors into the ground. The tower pole is mounted onto the base plate. The gin pole is then mounted above the tower pole. Make sure that the poles are aligned with one of the anchors. Put the power cable through the pole. The wire coupling must have the right distance to the top of the pole. Then the wires must be adjusted to the right length between the wire coupling and the anchors. Okay, until this is done. Measure the length to the side. Of that. Measure the length of the wire to the anchor under the pole. Use tape to mark the correct length of the wire. That's correct. Pull this down once again. Tighten it up. Before raising the tower, check an extra time that all wires are in place and properly connected. So this one goes on here. The top part of the gin pole is mounted. And the last two wires are connected to it. This one also clips on there. So we have two. Remember to lock the wire lock. The tow rope goes back to the car. The towing wire is connected to the car or truck and used to raise the tower. So tie that to that end. 
use the safety rope to ensure that the gin pole cannot fall to the sides when the tower is raised. Like so. Lift the gin pole by hand to a position around 45 degrees and from here let the car or truck take over. First raise the pole without the turbine head to check the length of all wires and maybe adjust them. Then lay the pole down again slowly. The wind turbine itself comes complete in one box. Connect the three wires from the turbine head to the wires of the power cable. The three wires at the other end of the power cable must be connected to each other to create a short circuit and to prevent the turbine blades from spinning when the tower is raised. Use insulation tape to isolate the cables from the pole and to prevent mechanical noise from the cables inside the tower. Make sure that none of the wires are jammed when the turbine head is mounted. inside there, the turbine, our tower, just like it is right now. Mount the tail and align it. straight yeah. profile yeah. it's got a curve like that and this goes mount the blades on the extension parts on the and make sure the blades are mounted correctly and with the right side forwards and that and this off. one has a round one Finally, mount them on the turbine head. Remove the three outer bolts again and mount the nose cone. Remount the three bolts and tighten them properly. The tower with the turbine head are now ready to be raised. Stop when the tower is in a vertical position. Remove the two front wires from the gin pole and connect them to the front anchors. Do it one by one, one at a time.
adjust all the wires and make sure that the tower is in a vertical position as seen from all four sides. Remove the towing wires and dismantle the gin pole. One by one, connect the three wires from the power cable to the breaker box. Finally, release the turbine with the disconnect switch. <laughs> 